Morning Rush. Now, the debate over electric cars and specifically the batteries that power them have people questioning their sustainability because of all the rare earth elements used to make them. I know it's a lot to ponder early in the morning. Fortunately, you don't have to. One really smart high school student is doing it for you. 17-year-old Robert Sanson, who attends Fort Pierce Central High School in Florida, won first place and received the $75,000 Inventor Award at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Congratulations, Robert. Thank you. Hey, I, now you have tackled a really tough topic here, electric car batteries. Why did you want to focus in on that? Well, we have, you know, humanity has huge issues pertaining to global warming and the issue of, um, you know, sustaining fossil fuels in the long term. And so we've been moving more towards uh, more sustainable energies and systems. And for the automotive industry, that's moving towards electric cars. Yeah, we're but showing, the, we're, we're showing uh, the battery that you made right there. Can you kind of describe for, how you built this different type of battery for, uh, for electric cars? Um, yeah, it's actually a new type of electric motor that uses the energy from the battery and delivers it to the wheels. And wow. rather than using rare earth materials, it uses uh, the principles of reluctance to produce that rotation. So, yeah, and that's always one of the big problems with the batteries, these renewable batteries. We have to dig them all up. They're rare elements. So how is yours different? What did you do different and how did you decide to come up with that difference? Yeah, so in the machines that are typically used, they utilize permanent magnets. And these are the part of the machine that uses the rare earth materials like neodymium and dyscrosium. And in my design, I avoid the use of permanent magnets and therefore avoid the use of rare earth materials completely. And where did you come up with this idea to get away from raw elements like that? How did you come up with this? Because there's not a lot of those raw elements down there in Fort Pierce, Florida. So where did you, this topic really come up for you? Yeah, so um, yeah, I knew about these issues with the rare earth materials because we're moving away from the issue of fossil fuels, but I think we're moving into a much bigger problem with these rare earth materials. And so I was looking at alternatives um, to using rare earth materials. And there are machines out there that don't use them, but their performance isn't high enough to be suitable for electric cars. And so I took one of those existing designs and I came up with a, a whole new way of designing it so that it could have that high performance without the rare earth materials. A real quick question for you. Have you heard from Elon Musk yet? Has he tweeted you yet? He should, no? Uh, not yet, but hopefully in the future. Yeah, I think you're going to. So winner of Regeneron's International Science and Engineering Fair, an extremely smart kid. You're going to hear his name again, Robert Sanson. Thank you so much for keeping up with all of the science. We need a lot more kids like you. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Now, you can check out more on the great science projects and the winners from the, at societyforscience.org. The next hour, Morning Rush.